Hi, my name is Jovi and welcome back to Kids Corner. Today we're going to be talking about the um, Advent word for hope. Today is Sunday and every Sunday we're going to be talking about a word from Advent. And today's word is hope. So before we do the main thing around here, we're going to light a candle every Sunday and talk about the Advent word. So we're going to be talking about hope today. So let's turn on this candle. We're lighting. We're just turning it on. It, this is an electric can candle, so you turn it on and then it lights up. So now we're going to be talking about what hope is. Hope is believing even when it's hard. So if you're scared that when you go to school the next day, you're going to get bullied by a bunch of other kids and you're just gonna feel really sad about yourself, you're gonna feel really like mean because the kids are bullying you. They're mean, but you're just gonna feel like you're, like, you're doing something wrong. So you're gonna, so you're gonna get, you're gonna hope that hope that God's gonna give you hope and that you will have hope to um, str get strong and that you will not let them do the stuff that they've been doing, bullying you, that they won't bully you anymore. Next, hope is trusting God when he, hope is when you trust God that he will hear your prayers. So let's say that you were getting bullied again and you were gonna say a prayer that you want not not trying to be they're not you're not trying to be like demanding or anything but you're trying to say god i would like you to give me some some hope please so i can finally get these mean kids away from my um from myself and that they will learn to not do that stuff again and that they won't be mean to people and you anymore. And then, like, well, he always hears your prayers, but some people don't believe that. I believe that, but like some people don't. So he always hears your prayers and that he will never stop hearing your prayers. The last one, is hope hears God. So basically when you think that somebody, that God is talking to you, he's talking, he's talking to you about giving hope, basically. Well, it doesn't have to always be that, but it's usually being that he's usually te teaching you lessons about like hope. A lot of the words in the Bible have each of these words. So, yep, that's what you hear. That's what you think. Well, they are. God is basically always talking to you. Like right now, he's talking to us. Now we're going to read a scripture in Romans. It's, the scripture is Romans 15, 13. So we're going to do that. Okay. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now there is a lot of people in the Bible who in the Bible who had hope. So David had hope. He was mad about what he'd done, but he asked for forgiveness and God gave him the forgiveness and he gave him hope. He hoped for forgiveness. Next was Mary. Mary had to have hope that she could tell Joseph that he wasn't going to be the father of Jesus. 
But the angel, the angel, Mary didn't. I don't, I don't think Mary had to tell him. Wait, she did. But then the angel told him that it was true. That God was going to be Jesus's son. <clears throat> father. God was Jesus' father. father. Right. God was Jesus' father. That's okay. Um, Jonah was a person who had to have hope. He had to have hope that he would get out of the whale's stomach. Right. So he prayed for three days that he could have hope for God. And then God finally gave him that help, and the whale coughed him out, I guess. <clears throat> then there is Noah. Noah had to have hope. He had to have hope that his animals would survive and that he could build that ark before the flood. Because Those are some really good examples, Jovi, of people in the Bible that mm -hmm. needed to have hope to keep believing, even though it was hard. How about us? Should we always keep Having hope? Mm -hmm. Wish we should. So, yeah. Noah had to have hope that all of the animals on the ark would survive and that he could build the ark so they, so all the animals, including him, and the humans in the ark would survive. Because without that, he, they would drown in the flood. So, I'm pretty sure there's more people in the Bible who have had hope, but those are the ones that we've been talking about, that we talked about, and we have talked about these people. We talked about David, Mary, well, Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, and God, those people, but including Mary, and then Jonah, I, Noah, Noah, mm -hmm. Maybe they, maybe people listening could go through the Bible and see if they can find some more people, mm -hmm. right? Okay, All right. Can you lead us in a prayer about hope before we say goodbye? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear God, please thank you so much for giving us hope, even when we get a little bit too greedy about it. Just thank you for giving us hope every day to start off with our beautiful day that you give us. Please help all of us who don't and don't believe that you can give us hope and give them hope so they can understand that he will that you will give us hope every day and that we will always be strong and have hope to do the things that we think that we can't do. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jovi, for teaching us about hope. Thank you. And next time we'll talk about well, peace. 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 Okay.